right, guys, what a great way to start the week uh, when it comes to uh, crypto markets. We talked about the big, strong moves we saw in uh, all of the cryptocurrencies uh, over the weekend and continuing here uh, to start things off uh, on a Monday. So we brought on Tokens.com, the former CEO and co-founder of Hut8. You may all recognize that name and the current co-founder and CEO of uh, Tokens.com, uh, Andrew Kegel, joining us. Great to have you on the show, Andrew. Welcome. It's, uh, it's a busy Monday in uh, the cryptocurrency space, uh, specifically for Ethereum. We'll get into this, uh, but uh, congratulations right out of the bat. Uh, big move this morning for Ethereum. Yeah, great move. I think that's being driven by all the, the decentralized finance activity that's happening. Uh, there was a report over the weekend that there is now uh, over $100 billion worth of capital locked into different DeFi projects, and uh, most of those are built on Ethereum. I want to, uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, DeFi and some NFT uh, topics here coming up, but let's start off with uh, Tokens.com. Uh, a proof of stake company. Explain to the viewers, if, if they're not familiar with that term, what exactly we're talking about here. Yeah, and so all cryptocurrencies generally rely on one of two ways to validate transactions. One is what probably a lot of your viewers are familiar with, which is crypto mining. Uh, proof of stake is the new version of crypto mining. It's the environmentally friendly version. We don't consume electricity or use hardware, but we produce the same end result, which is validating transactions. And so after leaving HUD-8, I created tokens.com as a way of providing the same services that a crypto miner does, but in what I think is a, a much better uh, financial model. So rather than buying equipment and electricity, we actually buy the token and provide the same work. And what that's resulted in is some fantastic uh, appreciation figures and we get paid uh, by the cryptocurrencies to do that. I want to uh, jump into the revenue model here coming up, but let's talk a little bit about uh, what the, the company is currently Focused on solely, I mean, we, you, we know that, uh, you know, one of the, the, the biggest coin or the biggest positions uh, is going to be in Ethereum. What else is tokens.com holding? We're holding uh, Polkadot and we've been picking up some uh, Binance coin, BNB. Those would be the three largest positions that we hold. We're earning yields on those in excess of 10%, closer on average to 13%. Plus, we get all the appreciation that occurs in something like Ethereum over the, the course of the weekend and over the course of this whole year. So when it comes to the revenue model, let's uh, let's visit this topic because uh, we, we might be confusing a few, a few of the viewers as far as how the company is actually generating revenue by what you mentioned, staking. How do we actually come up with a revenue model? Uh, you mentioned the, the appreciation is obviously there, but let's talk about staking. Yeah, so we're earning 13% uh, roughly on the tokens that we're holding. And so that 13% is paid to us in additional tokens. As an example, we own Ethereum and we're paid to provide staking services roughly 10% on our Ethereum position. Um, and as we get paid in Ethereum and we're holding that Ethereum, uh, we also benefit as it goes up. So it's sort of a two-pronged strategy. The revenue is based off of the staking, which is that 13% on average. And then our actual positions that we, our, our, our purchases that we use for staking are up about 200%. And so the best analogy I can provide for listeners, it's a little bit like owning a, a residential uh, apartment building where you are collecting rent from your tenants but the value of the building itself, the land continues to go up in value. And so you're getting appreciation from owning that building, plus you're collecting rent from all the tenants. And for us, it's the same thing. We own Ethereum. Ethereum continues to appreciate in value. And as it's appreciating, we continue to collect a, a stream of Ethereum by holding it and providing our staking service. The terms decentralized finance and these NFTs, non-fungible tokens, have you know just exploded over the past uh, few weeks and months in popularity. A lot of people uh, gaining interest in this space. Talk a little bit about how cryptocurrencies or the role that cryptocurrencies play uh, in both decentralized finance and NFTs. And how does a company like Tokens.com take advantage? Right, so we are a real good way to get exposure to decentralized finance, DeFi, and NFTs. And the reason why is every time there's an NFT or a DeFi platform built, it has to be built on a blockchain, for example, Ethereum. 
And back to what we were talking about before, the reason Ethereum is seeing such a surge right now and it's booming is because it's a programmable blockchain and all of these DeFi and NFT things that are going on are being built on platforms like Ethereum and Polkadot, which happen to be our largest positions. And so if you're looking for that sort of alpha exposure to things like DeFi and the NFT world, non-fungible tokens, uh, you know, ARK stock, tokens.com is, is such a great way to get that exposure. I want to talk about the uh, the symbol here because you have a very popular symbol. A lot of people yeah. may uh, recognize it and uh, understand. We're not talking about Coinbase here, guys. This is tokens.com listed as of Friday. Congratulations on the NEO exchange here in Toronto. Uh, talk a little bit about the process uh, that you went through to come up with that symbol and uh, how the listing process went uh, on Friday. Yeah, so we did a we did a, a financing with Steve Volcanicorn and a bunch of underwriters, and we did a reverse takeover into an existing uh, shell, and the symbol coin belonged to them. And so we actually had it before Coinbase, and for us it was a coincidence that they ended up choosing it afterwards in the U.S. Um, we will be trading in the U.S. under the ticker symbol Smurf in about eight weeks. And so that hopefully provides some differentiation. But um, yeah, we, we completed our reverse takeover. We have 75 million shares outstanding and we've been trading now for you know a day and a quarter. We are up over 50% from our initial listing price. And um, you know, I think people, again, if you're looking for that exposure to decentralized finance, cryptocurrencies and, and non-fungible tokens, we are a great way to do that. Andrew Kegel, co-founder and CEO of tokens.com joining us. Let's talk about where we see this going uh, you know, let, let's go six months out even. Where does this market, this decentralized finance market go? And how big are, are we looking at of, of a market size, in fact, for NFTs? This is going to be a trillion dollar market. Decentralized finance is really the digitization of things that you normally do at the bank uh, or with your brokerage moving to the digital world. So this is borrowing, lending, trading. You're going to see insurance platforms on there. It's going to be able to trade stocks 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Um, it's coming, it's here. It is happening at a really fast pace. Uh, like I said, this went from basically zero a year and a half ago to over $100 billion locked in right now. And it's growing at a tremendously quick pace. As those platforms continue to grow and people start saying, you know what, I can get a better return on my money by, you know, in the, in the digital world, or I can trade, I can do all kinds of things. Things like Ethereum and Polkadot will continue to appreciate as they get used as the programming languages in this area. Uh, and that's really why we're so excited about it. We think this, this is going to be huge. Things like NFT, non-fungible tokens for people in the collectible world, art, sports, it's a massive thing. And because you're able to trace the origin and the origin history of a piece of, of art or, or a video, um, again, we see this as a market that is, that is just booming and at its infancy. For the, uh, I, I agree 100%, and for the music industry uh, specifically as well, I think it's going to just revolutionize things and just lift things right back to right uh, now, yeah. you know, levels they were decades ago. Uh, as far as the company is concerned, what's next here for investors? Uh, investors like to know about uh, important dates, obviously. Friday was yeah. a huge one for the company. What's next for tokens.com? The, the biggest thing that's coming up is our Q1. That'll be mid-May. Um, I think we'll have some other good announcements coming up uh, with respect to news and some other initiatives that we're taking. But, but generally speaking, you know, I think we're going to have our, our capital deployed in the fully deployed in the next few days. And I think just having and being able to disclose to the market what our positions are in things like Ethereum, Polkadot, and BNB. Uh, that I think will get people excited and see that that's how they get that direct exposure to the, the booming industries that, that are happening in the NFT and DeFi space right now. It's an interesting time and uh, a very profitable one, obviously. All time highs again for Ethereum today. So uh, yeah. congratulations both on that and on the brand new listing, guys, on the NEO exchange here in Toronto, if you want to check it out. Yeah, it's coin, C-O-I-N dot T-O is the ticker. Andrew Kegel, co-founder and CEO of tokens.com. Best of luck. We look forward to an update in the future. Thank you very much. As a look at uh, tokens.com, a, a very interesting model. Uh, if you want to take a few minutes to kind of read up on it uh, a little bit further, if you want exposure to the, the uh, cryptocurrency market itself, it's a very interesting model.